Look out, footy's back. Welcome to AFLW Today, your new one-stop shop for all things AFLW. Well, it's not new because we're into the second half of the season. Anyway, I'm your host, Alex Donnelly, here for the Week 7 Roundup, even though every team's played eight games, don't worry. We'll catch you up all on that. As always, ja- joined in a jamming jacket. I'm going to make that work. In a by jamming Brian jacket. Jamming Dawson. jacket, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's it's it. actually a cheerleading jacket. Oh, I was going to say. This is, um, I got this from an op shop in LA. Yeah. Um, We're going to call Delaney. Brian Delaney. Delaney. Yeah, from Delaney. Delaney What's from, up, Delaney? <laughs> from LA. That guy's a d- <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say. I was don't like, cut that, guys. No, that's good. good. No, You're allowed yeah. to Content. say that. You're allowed to beep it. We've got no, you don't have to beep anything. That's great. Uh, Just good content. What about if I say it in Spanish? That guy's a patillo. <laughs> that works. That actually works. That's a different movie. You entirely. totally learned that from your partner. I did. You learned all the swears first. Si, senor. Yeah. And over there, the little fella. He's happy. He's had a weekend of golf and his team's won again. It's oh, the stats guy. Great weekend, great weather. I don't have a cool jacket or speak Spanish, but I'm very, very, very happy to be here. You don't have a cool hat supporting your friends at the True Bloods podcast either. No, no. True Bloods aren't doing much at the moment because it's the off-season. But anyway, go check out Polly's women's wrap-up. That'll be out probably tonight, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, subscribe to our YouTube channel because if you're here, we're more important than True Bloods. But uh, give us a follow. <laughs> it is AFL Today, AFLW Today on Twitter, but it's just basically AFLW Today wherever you want to go on social media. AFLW Today, AU, but AFL Today, AFL Today, I'm just going to repeat myself. I'm like stuck in an infinite loop at the moment. Just go AFL is where today. you get all the video and the podcast wherever you get a podcast platform as well. We've got a review show to do. A lot went on. A lot. It's been a, it's been a big three months. Yeah, it has. <laughs> three months. Yeah. <laughs> was Friday, Friday was three months ago. Was it? Yeah. yeah. It feels that long ago because wow. you know we it's start we start with the quick look. So we'll start with the injuries. Uh, so I'll start with the Swan stuff because that's the top of my mind. Uh, Montana Ham with a sore foot oh. had ice on it at the end of the game. She'll be okay, hopefully. God, I hope so. Uh, O'Sullivan went down with an elbow. Was out of the game. That's not good. Eric Rocha in the same game went oh, down with an ankle. That just looked like a gross roll. Yeah, and in the moon boot too. Yeah, yeah that's that's not good because she's uh, yeah really fun to watch. Yeah, again, North Melbourne could sort of you know cover that. Who else? We had Teeks go down with a knee twist. Julia yeah, Teekle, yeah, yeah. Teekle, Um Saint went yeah, down as right. well. Yes. Uh, we had Rachel Kearns from Geelong with concussion. Oh, Lily awesome. Goss from Carlton ankle injury. It's, it's it's it was a big so just some classic footy injuries and yeah. no hopefully, hopefully no major ones yeah, yeah. hopefully no ACLs no, it's like ACL. rolled ankle concussion you know, the yeah. other thing we got no more midweek footy so hopefully that means less injuries because that's just ridiculous the amount of footy they've had to play and the amount the amount of pressure on their legs yeah in the, or just bodies in any sport or bodies in general exactly so yeah, yeah. footy is such a brutal sport I feel like every AFLW team today yeah. is just going. Like we got through it, yeah. I feel okay, like I feel done. like every Swans player is either in the ocean in Hobart or they're at Bondi Beach right now. Yeah, just trying just, to cover. Yeah, just like everyone have a weeks. chill day. Yeah. yeah, everyone chill out. Well done. We got you through did it. it. Yeah, you we did it. Do we, do we do we want to talk about that because the condensed schedule may have led to the worst game ever, or do we wait till we get to that game? And wait till we get to that. Yeah, thing. wait till wait till we get there. Okay, and in a shock to no one, people absolutely suck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just in general. Just in general. If you're on Twitter or TikTok, there's some. Yeah, some yeah. creatures on there. My, my mentions have just been an absolute just crap show. You weekend. bring it on yourself sometimes. I, actually, I was being positive. <laughs> and I just I had a lot of angry men. Yeah. Yeah. Which they really, love to get angry, the men. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we, Hysterical. Just they are. rude. Crazy. <laughs> As someone who classic men who is classic known, men. I am known for having a short fuse. Like yeah, really? Okay. Yeah. yeah. What a shock. You're actually right? pretty good on this show compared to other, other shows. But the yelling in my feed about AFLW mm. was not on. I had a clip that I posted, Lee Williamson, captain of Arsenal and England, or one of the captains of Arsenal and England, soccer player, basically said, is like, she was like, I don't like fencing, so I don't watch it. Yeah. But I'm not going to tweet about it or get on Instagram and say, this sport sucks. That is you a very good it. call, very good call. If you don't like it, don't, watch don't it. talk about it, yeah. don't watch it. It's fine. What are you doing that for? Mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, Lee Williamson. Just sad people online just like, oh, what am I going to do with my day? Just have 22 tweets at someone mm. talking about FIW. Because yeah. we're bringing this up because our mentions got flooded by amazing people because we put up, well, you did the uh, Pride Kit ranking. Yeah, I was pretty happy with Gained it. Gained us lots honest. of followers though as well. <laughs> so there's lots of people. Woo! Great lots social of- interaction apart from, you know, 85% of the people going, yeah, that was, yeah, why, where's the straight round? Oh, why are we doing this? Yeah, and what do you have to say on behalf of your people? Alex, <laughs> straight round stats guy. Straight, we're better than our people. Straight white we're, we're men. better than our people. Come together. No, no. You no. Know. We're, we're, I was we're just, on the other side today. I was going to say straight round is every other round. Yeah. We don't need a round because no. that's what it is. Mm-hmm. We need to celebrate inclusiveness and be like, hey, footy, 
We welcome everyone. Yep. All shapes, sizes, sexuality, colours, everything. Come hang. It's a good time. Yep. That's well what we're said. To do. Good. Well, yeah, well, well said. said. Yep. I think it's like, you know, when you're a petulant child mm. and you're like, you have Mother's Day and you have Father's Day and they're like, oh, when is it kids', kids day? Yeah. And it's like every day, you little shit. Exactly right. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> Gerald's having a conniption over there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait, fire. I'll say it in Spanish. <laughs> every day, you little caca. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, we got yeah, Duolingo over here. It's about time we got, 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 got cancelled. Duolingo. <laughs> Who? Duolipa. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thought the star of the show, the non-binary superstar, was the one to get us cancelled, not the straight white dude? <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Actually, Honestly. I could have seen that coming. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Could have seen after, you getting fired up. After one interview with me, I'm sure yeah. you were like, oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm all well, for it. I'm we were like, it. yeah, they're, they're, the, they're the host. Yeah. They're the person. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get to the ladder check because there is some footy to talk about. It so looks good, doesn't it? Everyone's played the same amount oh. of games. There's parody. Oh. It works. Yeah. On top of the ladder, yes. the unbeaten flag roos, North Melbourne with a percentage of 313. It keeps going up. It conceded keeps going their up. third highest score yesterday, but happened to kick their highest score of the season. So. And how would the Irish players say the percentage of the kangaroos? Oh, there's uh, tongues twisting you're everywhere. You're Irish, sort of. 313. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was waiting for it. <laughs> I, was, yeah. I was like, who's going to do yeah. that? Okay. Yeah. The Hawthorne Hockballers, courtesy of a fantastic win over West Coast, second. a huge win into second, 190%, 28. Brisbane also on 28, 180%. Adelaide, after losing midweek, they would be equal with them right now. They'd actually be third, but they're down to fourth on 24 they'll points. they'll take that still, yeah. Yeah, Rich, they'll take it. Richmond just creeping, creeping, creeping with their hate towards Bryony up to fifth, <laughs> chasing that double chance. Frio lost two on the bounce. They're now on 20. I never doubted Essendon. They've won four straight. Oh, yeah, sure. They're into seventh. The Saints had a win, had a loss. They're on 16 points, equal with Port Adelaide, West Coast, and the Demons who have won three straight. Demons have come from the clouds. The yeah, D's they percentage have, they? is going to hurt them though. Yeah. They need to Oof. just keep on winning. What is it? 68.4. Yeah. 40 less than uh, yeah, the ones in the eight. Yeah. So that's brutal. Carlton are 12th on 47%, courtesy of that win. Geelong are uh, on 13th, 13th with 10 <laughs> points on 100%. My beloved Sydney Swans, 14th, lost four in a row. The Western Bulldogs, they're, also, they're 15th. Their percentage is just deplorable, 47. GWS were okay, but got blown off the park by Adelaide, six points. Collingwood expected 17th and Gold Coast still haven't won a game, but they were actually really good on Saturday against the Lions in 18th. The only shock about this ladder at the moment is that the Bombers have jumped up into 7th, I think. Well, mm. even Demons being 11th, is I was going to touch on that later, that's... That's crazy. They were horrible. They had like a month and a half where they couldn't even kick and a score. just like yeah. that, and then they're back. This mm-hmm. week, they were great. Uh, my one is Hawthorne. Like, yeah, oh, second. But yeah, they just keep winning. Second, yeah. They do keep They've winning. they lost to Adelaide. But like convincingly. Mm. You yeah. know what I mean? Second like best they're really, the yeah, yeah. They're, they're, having, they're having some kind of season, Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, having yeah, a lot of fun. There's the Americans back. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> All right, let's get into the game wraps of the weekend. Let's hit Let's hit up Thursday. Port Adelaide, 4-9-33, beat Collingwood, 3-7-25. This scoreboard doesn't tell you how easily Port Adelaide should have won this by. Yep. At one point, what was it, stats guy? It was like 30 clearances to 12 or something? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It ended up being 42 clearances to 13. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the biggest margin, I reckon, of the whole season. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Collingwood were going so well at one point after getting destroyed in the clearances in the third quarter that Britt Benici was in their ruck, and I was like, what? This no, is isn't, <laughs> should be one of the smallest yeah. players. No, yeah. it, was, it was great. And Benitez standing there just going, yep, that's just going over my head. Sweet. <laughs> Tap down by Paul. Hey, but the versatility on her, though. Yes. You know? Yeah. I, <laughs> she lied on the resume. Yeah. You said Ruck. <laughs> yeah. I can play Ruck, small forward. It's, that it had, had R next done. to a name. It actually meant Rover, yeah. not Ruck. <laughs> yeah. the coach has got that one a bit wrong. But all right, let's just get to the point. We saw the greatest mark in AFLW history. Are we calling it in history? Call I'm happy it. to say that. Call You're it. calling it in history? Yeah. I need to go back mm, through the archives. Yeah, I feel like you need to. You need to have a treasure. Gerald, to... throw up the photo. <laughs> Best photo. That's why. I don't know where it is. If it's there, if it's there, it's there. Just everywhere. Just put up everywhere. Yeah. Sh- I'm calling it Schultzy, just because She's... you got to add a Y to it as we're Australian. Schultzy. Schultzy. Yeah. Just took a hang. Yeah. Sick hang. And the my favorite part about the hanger was the ride. She yeah. She knew halfway through that she'd taken, and she was like. Oh yeah. my yeah, like God. A lot of the times you see in professional sport, they try to hold it and just act cool. Yeah. Yeah. She just got excited and all of her teammates Mate, were just getting around her. Like, 
George um, Houghton had like the best view yeah, so, of it ever. She's just there yeah, yeah. in front of her, and <laughs> everyone was just like, "Oh my god!" And then it was going everywhere. Like yeah. the amount of time people that I got, to, yeah, sent it to me, and it was just gone viral. Yeah. That photo, oh, yeah. I think I, I may have yelled in loud, loud letters in our group chat. Yeah, was very excited. Lit so up, cool. She lit up group chats around the country, around the world, and um, two yeah, million I, velocity points in fifty grand. Yeah, is that great. what you get? Two no, million? that's what the men get. Oh. oh, so we're, we're we're just assuming, right? Like, surely it's the same price. No, it's no, not the uh, same oh. price. Are you you keep me? talking. I'm just going to look at this. That doesn't stuff. surprise me. Sad. That's oh, sad. It doesn't surprise doesn't you at surprise all. Me Correct. No, that's sad. Uh, no, I don't. Oh no way! I don't think they get much, mate. <laughs> Do they get weak? Oh no, this is this is us. This is us voting. We can win five grand by voting, but I don't. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't think they. I don't reckon they even get that much. Okay, that's that's bull honky. But I did. I'm hosting the W Awards. again this year, and I was like, as soon as I saw that mark, I was like, okay, got in my Speech notes section ready, yeah. on the yeah. phone, asking you crude questions, writing down the things. I what was is like, the mark of the year? Uh, so yeah. you're going for half an hour. Brady, <laughs> stop asking questions. <laughs> um, They're going to play the music just to get you off the stage. Yeah, literally, literally. I'll be like, let's play it again. Let's play it again. Port's uh, uh, Guernsey looked really cool under the lights it did, as well. Didn't oh, it it, just, it was white. just like, yeah, obviously dark, and then you just had the white with the, uh, the fluoro yeah. sort of colours. Yeah. Oh, that was really cool. Yeah. For the record. Here we go. Okay. What do you got? 50 grand and 2 million velocity points. Oh, they do get it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, they, yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah, take that with your <laughs> hatred towards men. Well, bloody, blow me down Classic and call me over. Neil. <laughs> Delaney. 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 Call me Delaney. <laughs> that blows my mind, Alex. So all I know is uh, Schultz is definitely going on a sick holiday in the Oscars. Schultz, yeah. the Milky Bars are on you. Yeah. Absolutely. Two that's... million velocity points. That's Where can you go with that? I don't know. So more of a freaking any, flyer. Anywhere. So you can go anywhere two, business class and ooh, take 220,000 return will get you business class to Europe. Maybe they'll go on a really cool uh, end of season trip. Schultz is oh, like, yeah. oh, yeah. Or will, will does Schultz just shout everyone economy seats to Bali? No, absolutely, not. <laughs> absolutely not. <laughs> Maybe should. Uh, should we talk about the game? We probably should. Absolutely not. Poor, poor, really good uh, defensively on Davy and Benici. They only combined for twenty three disposals. Yes. So I think uh, Davy had fourteen, which isn't horrible. Benici only had nine, which yeah. is usually she's above twenty five. So they yeah. did really well, Port, in the midfield to just. Yeah, contain Port's them. transition game was on as well, which mm. they, which has been Collingwood's issue since round one. We pointed out on transition they can get yeah. caught out, and Port just are a bit slicker by foot and a bit slicker with their skills, and they just caught them out a few times. Probably should have kicked more goals. There was a bit of a wind up, but they were just too good in the end. So like, with a couple of yeah. goals, yeah. Fan bases, Port are just like sick, sick. Yeah, we're feeling good. I, they're, they're I, staying in touch. I really like Port. Um, I say it every week. It's a Team effort. Yeah. There's no like major, yeah. no major um, standout superstars. It's just a real team effort. I love Dowrick, 21 possessions. Mm -hmm. um, both teams, hideous uh, efficiency oh, inside 50. Port, 39%, 13 shots from 33 inside. Collingwood, 25%, oh. only seven shots on goal yeah. from 28 inside 50. So, Collingwood have just got um, not a lot of options down forward and there's I'm just not a lot of pressure happening. I'm still forgiving of them because they've just got no one. You're absolutely they've got so right. many injuries. Their, their fan base is like, oh, just can we just they are ready for the end of the yeah, season. Yeah, let's let's get through they've it. They've got yep. some decent young, but you got yeah. Michaela Cam was really good, 21 yeah, in the goal. She was great. The thing is they're getting a lot they're getting games into their kids. Yep. Which is handy for next and, season. And yeah. the thing is also Ruby first season back from a long-term injury as well, so yeah. she'll be better she's next really season. Good, she's, she's having a great season. Because she had to step yep. up in midfield. Yeah. I mean, yep. She probably would be usually playing half-back. Yep. She's so used to playing half-back. She's, she's been having a run, right? Yep. 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 Loved it. All right. Friday night. Let's get to this. The Bulldogs, three behinds, beaten by Essendon. Three goals, eight, 26. This was Brutal. the single worst game. I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to I'm not, not going to sugarcoat nice it. this. I'm not going to sugarcoat this. Fair enough. This was pathetic. It was a disgusting display of football and tactics by the Western Bulldogs. I get it. Five games in, I think it was 20-something days for them. Five days, five games in 23 days for them. It was Essendon's fifth in 19 days. Yeah, that's that, that's way too much. Yeah. But Even when, if, yeah. I know Whitnova is also a bit of a bigger ground. I know mm -hmm. it's 16 aside. But to put on that kind of a display on a Friday night when it is prime time, it's pride round, it's, they've, they've made a big celebration about everything, and to put that on takes just basically gives every angry old white dude a reason to hate on this mm -hmm. game. Yeah. And you know what? Fair. Well, I yeah. didn't like the fixturing of this being the Friday night. I know but, it also, but it also works out because the Western Bulldogs had a week yeah. off and, and Essendon had played 
uh, on the Saturday or the Sunday. If they could Gold somehow Coast? have mm. changed it to another, like the Friday night game, it's obviously on its own. There's no other games around it. But it starts guy, they, oh, do, they Bulldogs don't, shouldn't be on in, the Friday In night. June, they don't know that the Bulldogs are going to have the season from no, hell. No, I know, I know. And they don't know that um, the coaching staff are going to put on this display, putting three players behind the football. Yeah. And you had you have players who just dead set can't lift their legs, can't take marks, can't hit skills. Mm. Everything that you didn't want in a game of footy was this, which is a shame because either side of it, we had great football yeah. on the over the weekend. Yeah, every other, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If this was like, and this this will come across as disrespectful. If this was <laughs> four thirty on Saturday while all the great racing was on, Bathurst, everything else. Fine. No one notices. Tuck it away. Yeah. It's like, that's oh, why I didn't like oh, on the that Friday game. Night, yeah. oh, people are like, oh, that, that's gross. Glad I didn't watch that. Yeah. But it's in the prime, prime time. spot. Yep. And like, so I got I got yelled at on social media. What a surprise. I every, was being, every week. So I was being positive. What did you post? So t- I said, this is what I said at about 8.45, halfway through the third quarter. Tonight has proven the condensed fixture just isn't it for the AFLW. Dogs are cooked as anything with their fifth game in 23 days. For Essendon, it's their fifth in 19. It is time for 18 versus 18. You need to increase the, increase the list sizes and stop the game clock for stoppages. Mm-hmm. Because when you think about it, they are losing 30 to 40% of game time when yeah. they don't stop the that's clock. Why it's, mm-hmm. That's and why it keeps it's less rolling. scoring. Yeah, of course. That's why it's less scoring. 16 and 16, where you play three behind the footy, you've only got 13 players elsewhere. And everyone's like, oh, it's going to cre- it's gonna cause it to become more condensed in and around the contest. Well, it's, it's not. Because you see a lot of times when teams break from clearance and get a clearing kick, someone takes a mark. It's like, oh, I've got no one forward. Mm-hmm. Whereas when you have 18 versus 18, you might have someone at full forward that yeah. you can just quickly go to. Yeah. It'll speed the game up. It'll increase scoring. And the average, I think, will go up. I think the average score is about 35 a team this year. Mm-hmm. It'll go from that to 50 like that. Mm. Yeah. Interesting. And people are, oh, you can't increase the list sizes when, you know, there's not enough talent to go around. I count it. The young players. There is 101 it. players on the injury list right now. Whoa. That's a lot. Yeah. Too many. There's ways to fix it. This game sucks. We're not going to talk about it. Okay. <laughs> we can talk one. about it. No, if we want. SNN one. Yeah. SNN one. one. There you go. You're, you're happy at least. SNN. I was very happy. Um, I... I agree with everything that you say there. I also see the other side of things um, in the fact that we're we're having these issues because we have increased in the past few years. Yep. Mm. Um, increased, yeah, the teams. The and, teams yeah. so that and means the there's number. More players so and there's, and yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, and I think that. It's going to keep happening. We're getting a Tasmanian team next year. Yes, the, we need bigger lists. Yes, we need to go to 18. Yes, we need more games, all of that kind of stuff. And we need more all, games but not in the short clump of time. No, 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 exactly. Exactly. It needs to – yep. and, and I think that they will do that next season. But <clears throat> the the talent isn't there yet. So if we keep – It's a tricky the, one. Yeah, it? it's tricky. Yeah. And it, and And – if we're going to keep building at the rate that we're building, which I think that we should. So, yes, I agree with you there. There is going to be those times where you have terrible games and you have players who but, are not not at the level they yeah. need to be yet on prime time Friday night yep. football no, fair enough. trying to kick a goal. So the AFL, the men's side, knows to definitely not schedule North Melbourne and St Kilda on a Friday night because that was possibly the worst game of AFL it we've was, seen yeah. last yeah. year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same sort of thing. Like I think the AFLW schedule is very rushed. And no, I, I, like I, not, sorry, I people, agree. Not whoever's no. running it is is not taking any anything it's, as much into account as the men's one. If, which you'd, is if you'd looked at the fix, the lists at the start of the season, you wouldn't be putting Western Bulldogs on a Friday night, mm-hmm. knowing that this could potentially happen. And I get it; you've probably got to put some teams there and that. But this was just anyway. We've probably talked way too much about this. fan bases. The, <laughs> the Bulldogs are just like oh. God damn it. They also went into the game. Also, <laughs> how cool is Ellie Blackburn's scooter? That's probably what Love the scooter. About. Yeah, which is on a scooter. Yeah. Blackburn. Yeah, that was pretty fun. Yep. The dogs as well went into the game trying to make it scrappy because they were like, if we just try and shut them down, which is why they didn't kick any goals, they needed to concentrate. This is also them. why yeah. the heads of the AFLW are like, don't do that. Yeah, but they, they can do they whatever can do tactics what they, want. they want. Yeah. <clears throat> that, and although they didn't kick goals, they did well just to make it scrappy. And that's what Essendon didn't want. And then the Bombers uh, fan base is a... Hooray, we won again. Won. <laughs> but then Bryony was saying about holding marks. They dropped lots of marks well, inside 50. That's been your problem all year. Uh, 100% mm. has been like uh, Paige Scott and Bannister. Like, Good players. Yeah. yeah. Great just players, but just like, marks. hey, mm. 
Take a mark. Uh, I really love Gaylor at the moment. She's she won so the, good, yeah. She yeah. won the Rising Star last yes. week and she had 17 disposals this week awesome. and had a shot on goal. She missed it, but... There's, she's building confidence, back, yeah. yeah, and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to to seeing her grow. Yep. Please bring in 18 I hope she stays next year. I hope she stays at the Bombers. Stay that too. Bombers. Yes. Saturday, Frankston, Hawthorne. Holy crap! Eleven <laughs> eight seventy four beat West Coast one two eight. So I had this game on the iPad while I was watching the races on yeah. Saturday. I'm like, oh yeah, this is a good game. And then Hawthorne just blitzkrieged them. Yeah, and Ooh. just went see ya. Brighty called up. We were going. Oh, this is gonna be really close. Brighty goes nah. Hawks are going to smash him. I was thinking, what is, what's probably this guy? About? But yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, dude's rock. Delaney yeah, was all over rock. It. Yeah, it was just, it was awesome. Yeah. That was so good. Um, I, it's exactly what. Big percentage booster. Yeah, it's exactly what I thought was going to happen. Mm. West Coast, especially during this condensed fixture. Yeah. Um, I think that they're really, really tired. Yeah. Um, they play I, a high intensity. I think their run, I think. Their run is finished. Yeah, they, I reckon they lose their last three. And they like they like playing a similar style to Hawthorne. There was a lot of one on one defensive contests yep. there, yep. and they just don't have the skill to stand up. So it was gonna it was gonna blow open. Yep. Yeah, if if you know the Hawks exposed West Coast for the team that they are, and they absolutely did that. So yep. seven goals to zip after after uh, half time. And eleven goals to uh, ten goals to one after three. Yeah, it was time. after quarter time that the Hawks were just yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, and they're they they use the breeze really well. Mm -hmm. um, Eliza West had a great game: twenty two possessions, one goal, seven tackles, nine Ooh. clearances. Yeah. Batesy amazing too: twenty two disposals, two goals, five tackles, eight clearances. Goals from midfield. Yeah, yeah. yeah. amazing. It's, it's just awesome. But Need to point out, seven of those goals came from intercept as well. Yeah, yeah. So turning those into goals is massive. Hundred percent. Um, Greta Bodie had a quiet one mm. though. Well, uh, Gilroy stepped up. Yeah. Gilroy is my favourite player to watch. Yeah, in the entire competition, she's so good. Three goals, two Thir old school modern forward. Yeah, thirteen disposals, thirteen kicks. Yeah, she's, she's on handball. She's like, <laughs> I'm either setting up a goal. She had five scoring shots. Oh, she's like setting up a goal or scoring goals. She's yeah. just yeah. awesome. She's awesome. my favourite player to watch. Yeah, she's tall. She she was at North playing back pocket, half back. Now she's one of the best forwards I, in the country. I will raise Crazy. you 13 touches for 13 kicks with Charlotte Thomas, 26 touches, yeah. 25 kicks. Yeah, that's, okay. that's crazy. She was great, right? Yeah. Just running off around half everywhere, off half back. Yep. Did did do her best to help stop, try and stop the Hawks. Yep. But it's sort of been that thing we were worried about West Coast all year. Is there's just that no number one target up forward that yep. can just clunk when they need mm. to. Well, did, didn't they put Ella Roberts forward? They took yeah, her they off did, the ball actually, in yeah. the second quarter. Which is I think that yeah. an impact. Yeah. But yeah. also... Young young kid, yeah. played, like playing a lot of footy in a short amount of time. Do you reckon yeah. it was a rest thing or a tactical thing? Bit of both. Yeah. Mm. Bit of both days going, this one might be getting away from us. The Hawks, well, I keep just getting better. It's yeah. Nice. They do. They, I feel like they're gelling. I feel oh. like, and especially uh, with where the competition is at at the moment, they're kind of uh, getting. They're hitting their flyer at the right well, time. Well, they're, they're, they're allowed to play a little bit more. Do you, know, footy, yeah. do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, okay, this is our strategy. This is what we want to do. And they're not having those close games. So they're really able to lean into mm. their systems and what they're trying to do I and play with it a bit more. They're a great advertisement for the, where the game's going. Because they got, I don't, I actually don't know the, how young their list is compared to other ones, but mm. they seem really young. Mm -hmm. All their best players are all their young players, most, most mm -hmm. of them. So like all these girls coming through are just going to be awesome in the next couple yeah. of seasons. So yeah. yeah, and this is and this is where it comes back to what we talked about in the Bulldogs and Essen thing, where it's like okay, maybe we don't have the depth of talent. But the thing is, we are now at the stage where what we're season nine, eight, nine, nine, nine. yeah. Where that COVID year keeps really messing with yeah. me. Yeah. Well, the COVID year where it was well, cancelled. And then, then there was two the seasons next year in one. Where there was two yeah. seasons. That got yeah, that's what I mean. I'm like, <laughs> there's no pre season one. <laughs> season two, part one, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, where we're now at the stage where. Players who are getting drafted didn't get to 14 years old. Oh, you can't play footy no more. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, good. it's It's now good. these these kids more that, are, that are getting yeah. drafted now, they were, what, 10, 11 years old mm. when the AFLW started. Like, ah, yeah. hey, I can yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah, that's why the Hawks are showing that off. That's what I mean. Yeah. All the young kids coming through, natural footy players that don't have five years away from it where you, it is a bit of muscle memory, Yeah, but you take time to sort of pick that up where now – it's good and bad. We are now phasing out the, hey, you're an athlete. You want to come play AFL? Yeah. We're They'll at, still have that because AFL. No, but what I mean yeah. is we're at the back end of half of half of them yeah. weren't yeah, of course. Going footy players when yeah, they came yeah. across. Yeah. yeah. We had so, beach volleyball players. Yeah. We had, yeah. We had yeah. a basketballer who was the best player in the comp. Yeah. Yeah. Also, you know, happened to be, you know, just a freak. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At everything. Anyway, fan bases, Hawthorne, like, this rules. Like, pretty excited. I, I thought they awesome would improve, everything. but not second. Second yeah. is... 
Crazy. Huge. Yeah. And the gloss at West Coast, like, oh, well, we won games early. This is all right. Hawthorne are good. Well, not a, oh, kicking eight points. They'll yeah, be but it's also but like tough few weeks. They've still got some credits in their bank. If, yeah, they, yeah. if they get belted in their last three games. Daisy's helped them improve. Yeah, it's just like, mm, but it's like we've improved. Yeah, 100%. So, anyway, let's get to the Swinburne Centre. Yes. Richmond, 6-10-46. Defeat Geelong, 5-9-39. Sell out at the Swinburne Centre. This game ruled. Yeah. I'm just going to quickly get to Geelong fan bases. They're like, how the bloody hell did we lose that mm-hmm. one? They dominated this game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially up. at the start because there was a strong breeze. Uh, I was, was going to say left of screen. I can't yeah. even remember which way it was. But, yeah, they couldn't get on the scoreboard, Geelong. Like, the R- Richmond held up okay defensively. Both teams were inaccurate, but the win was The win was, was very tricky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I yeah. know that we're like, oh, both teams are inaccurate. I, was, I had that. Yeah. It was, it was, a, re- it was, it was a real thing. Yeah, yeah. When Katie Brennan kicked that last goal, oh she, she, God, had to, goal was that? she had to aim it to the road for yeah. it to swing back. That was experience. Went, that was, was experience like, right KB there. Wade, KB Wade. Because <laughs> I worried it was good. Yeah. yeah. And, and it went straight in. She was just like, now, nah, guys. Yeah. I got this. I got I've been doing this for years. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know how to kick it. She knew exactly winner. what she was doing. It was, yeah. Yeah, it was clutch, Brennan. But yeah, the wind was ridiculous. And this goes back to the hey, maybe if we stop playing in these windswept grounds, we might see bigger scores. Well, we're not going to change the ground because it's a bit windy. The, no, no, no. What right. I mean is, no, in general. Like, ah. like, how about we play in a stadium? Yeah. See? Mm-hmm. See? I'd you rather, I was, no, picked I'm up not, what I was throwing I down. Really really I'd rather play this game as a. I'd rather sell out Punt Road than a Marvel But this just goes back to the. Punt Road holds like three people. Yeah. A yeah. sellout there at yeah. Shania. Half the stadium, that don't half the stadium you can't stand at. We learned that when we were there. True, it is. It, it was is a very, net blocking us off. Yeah, after we were, yeah, had to sneak through a few areas. Yeah. We know. We just walked through them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so Geelong are going out of this going, how the hell did we manage to lose this one? But it's also like on the back of Mon Conti just in the midfield, just going, hey, I'm really good. She kicked one goal three. Yeah. Like Could a, have had one of the best games ever if she kicked four goals. But yeah, right. Really hard conditions. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the Cats midfield shared the love between themselves, all got, all got to work. And we're on top for the majority of the day. And it's just that final finishing product. Yeah, well, that's the thing. You've got to play four quarters of footy, right? You've got to play the Which right footy at the right time. All season. Even they, when exactly. they smashed a couple of teams, yeah. they yeah. probably didn't give four quarters. They've just been so – they'll be happy because on the ladder you'd go Richmond and Geelong really far apart. But Geelong have had so many good games this year. They just yeah. can't finish it off. Yeah. The other Agreed. one I wrote down was uh, Maloney. Oh. Awesome. How good was that mark yeah. on the yeah. line? The awesome snap mark. Around. And then the snap. And then uh, 23 disposals for a yeah. tall – Full forward, crazy, eight score involvements. Yeah. So almost playing like a sort of half, not like a high half forward, but half forward role, just setting up every goal for Tom. Yeah. So, mm. yeah, she was awesome. And you see her for oh, you Richmond. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Signature um, small forward performance. Right. Yeah. Three, three goals. Three goals is We've awesome. been waiting all year for her to do this. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That's all right. And on a windy day, kicks three straight. Yeah. Awesome. Love it. Mm. Love to see it. And then, yeah, Katie Brennan, as we touched yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah, clutch. Katie Clutch. Clutch with a K. Yes. <laughs> Fan base is cool. Tigers. Tigers are just like, suck it. <laughs> <laughs> suck it. I will. Brian yeah. loves the Tigers. Deep I'll, down. Yeah. I'll, I'll keep it clean. But yes, <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy. I'm really happy yeah. that they're playing like this. I love Katie Brennan. Team. I love the team. Like, yep. yes, finally, step up. Like, Clicking. get those games. Yeah. Yep. And Geelong are just like, hey. How? We're at Geelong, yeah, 13th. Oh, we talked about that before. Geelong will be like... It's disappointing because their team that, that'll be good. That, they'll be that team when the finals start going, we should be yeah. in there. Yeah. Like, I, at their yeah. best, they're better than Frio, Essendon and Saints, in my opinion. Yeah, 100%. And they're maybe all kick, in, Maybe kick goals against Carlton. Yeah, that's what's cost them, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. No good. But they should be beating Melbourne. They should be oh, bit like... 100%. Everyone, everyone, they, they held on against the Swans. So from, yeah. yeah, 6th to 13th, everyone above them, they... Should be beaten. Them, that yeah. round one loss, yeah, that round one loss will be the one, I reckon. Yeah. All right, let's get to the Q clash. Brisbane, 6 8 beat Gold Coast, 4-4-28 in an action-packed game, which, as you expect, you know, uh, northern rivalry, yeah. state rivals, where the Well, we Suns, didn't expect it oh, that no. much. I think we called, like, blowout. Yeah. But we also you also forget big rivalry games. Gold Coast had a, had the week off, so they had a chance to crack in and get ready and have a week to set up defensively. They knew that they weren't going to kick a big enough score. Mm. So if we can contain, we're going to give ourselves a chance. And you know what? They did a great job. Mm-hmm. Wasn't good enough against, you know, one of the best teams in the competition. We so. talked about their defense all year. We've seen them 
live, like they just sort of push up a bit too much or their one-on-ones aren't strong. Yeah. They were really good one-on-one. You go, Brisbane can kick up to 70 points sometimes. Yeah. They've only allowed them to kick 44. They were actually really good defensively. I think they, they were, were a bit a more structured. behind late as well. Yeah, they got within a goal in the last quarter. So they had a chance to beat Brisbane, yeah. which would have been the biggest upset probably all year. Yeah. Obviously well, Melbourne involved. beating Adelaide. Yeah, in the that's the biggest one. Before. That's nah, the big Melbourne. Melbourne have good players. Nah, that, we, that's if, actually hard. Yeah. Melbourne <laughs> I, I just sort of said that, but Gold Coast don't have enough good players to clutching at straws, mate. Yeah, clutching at straws. I think it's a really good performance by um, Gold Coast, and I feel like that Q clash kind of thing is like finals Fight foot, up, finals, finals yeah. footy. Mm-hmm. You, you don't know what's going to happen. Anything can happen yep. in that time. So good on Gold Coast to taking it to them. But I think Brisbane just showed that they were too classy in the yeah. end, and we're like, okay, we're gonna we're gonna well, finish. They this. they limited the lines to only two hundred and thirty odd disposals. I know the lines have had forty six inside fifties. But they've nearly matched them in the clearances, six centre clearances each. So they've done everything that they could possibly yeah. do. Yeah. It's just class prevails at the yeah, end of the day. seven wins in a row for the Lions now. Ali Anderson. Ali Anderson was great. Taylor Smith, two goals again. You can just bank her in for two goals every game. Yeah. Leading the league in goal kicking. Still yeah. just awesome. Daisy Darcy, really good. Mm-hmm. I think we, yeah. we've talked about her a little bit, but probably not enough. She's been really uh, consistent. We always talk about single, row bottom, things like uh, players like that. Yeah. But Darcy's been really yeah, fun to watch as well mm. for the Suns. It just goes to show there are pieces there for the Suns and there's... Yeah. Well, they showed it last year. They, I think this is their first half of the year that... They just didn't really play their sort of style and they, they lost defenders and things like that. In the yeah, exactly. A lot. F- fan bases like Lions, take the dub, move yeah. on. Seven in a row. Yeah. yeah. They're flying. And Gold Coast like, oh, okay. Will they question themselves a little bit, the Lions, and be like, mm, nah, and, you, and, could, you and, should have maybe put them away a little bit more? End of the condensed fixture. Okay. They've looked a bit tired right, in a couple I'll of allow games. I'll, I actually I'll don't allow it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Case dismissed. Happy with that? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, let's move to Fremantle Oval. Oh, upset. What a game. A real upset. Yeah. Here. Legitimate upset. No Why one in the no one, no one in the world's picking Carlton. Yet. So Fremantle four six thirty defeated by Carlton <laughs> five four thirty four. Spencer's over there attempting to do a backflip. She's still recovering from uh, female flu and uh, the Olivia Rodrigo concert over the weekend. So <laughs> that's a, there's a lot going on and a lot of wine. So <laughs> Spencer's just like in the, <laughs> hey, on that the sounds flu. Like a good weekend. It's the yeah. lady flu. Other than the flu yeah. part. <laughs> I was going to say we get ragged on for man flu. I had to bring up female flu. So we didn't see Spence for a week. <laughs> I'm glad she I don't want to get him. You were in here when you were dying. What are you doing? Ah. So Fremantle yeah. decided to do the most Fremantle possible thing ever and just like, yeah, we're just not going to do anything for two of the quarters. Yeah. Quarters two and four, they didn't score a point. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, you can't win games like that, can you? The no. Classic. You definitely some, try. Kick at least a point. Yeah. Mm. In the Gary Lone way, oh, classic Fremantle footy club. Yeah, because footy- the whole footy club, you know, is we're including well, the men there as yeah. well. We, we yeah, talked about all year on the uh, men's <laughs> show about Freo, yeah, crumbling in the last quarter. They they really crumbled in the last quarter. I think 13 to 3 inside 50s, Carlton. They, they flick the switch. A lot of times Carlton play a little bit defensive, don't use their runners enough. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They were like, all right, I, like, I don't know if their coach said anything or they were just like, we got a bit of energy left in the tank. They went so attacking in the last yeah. quarter. And Freo were like, oh, my God. Like, it wasn't even what a What do win. we do? They just couldn't. Yeah, they, so, like, Freo needed to attack themselves, but – they had to defend so much that Carlton just had got over the line. Would you believe all three of Frio's losses this year have been at home? Wow. Yes, yes, I wrote that, yes. I wrote Interesting. That oh, did you? I didn't got, I oh. scrolled down to that point. I, 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 I was literally about to say that. <laughs> I just saw this on my head. I was like, oh, yeah, do that. Um, but, yeah, Keely Sherrard with the mad snap out of the pack where, thanks to our good friend, Bonnie Too Good, uh, Keely Sherrard may have learned how to snap the footy at a content day that we did because we with had Essex, yes. shots from the boundary line and she's like, how do I – Banana, like, and hold the yeah, footy right. Yeah, yeah. And Bonnie's like, just do it like this. Just change the hands around. Bang. It was, it, yeah, it was, it worked because that snap was awesome. It was about 35, 40 out. Yeah. Just out of the pack, out of nowhere. Shiraz's been really if good. If you season. go to the AFL match report, it's a great photo where she's like up and about kicked it. There's a player back and go, oh my <laughs> God, we won. There's so many moments like that this week when the players are just like, oh. just a great, well, just a great week of footy. But Carlton just like at points were threatening to get blown out of it because Fremantle had 15 inside 50s to one yeah. in the third quarter, mm. yet couldn't take advantage of it. And then Carlton, you said, was it 13 to one 13 or something? to three in the last. Yeah, yeah. but even Carlton's efficiency inside yeah. 50. Still poor, yeah. 28%. Yeah. And, and yeah. Frio's was 40. So, I mean, they still have better efficiency, but, yeah, it's – um. And I think it's that that final quarter that it came down to mm. where you mentioned that, that Carlton just, just – put the just, foot down. Yeah. yeah. Brianne Moody, been calling for it. Got a yeah, goal on the stood last. Up, stood yep. up yeah. with, a, with a mark and a goal. So love that. Um, we also had, what was it, uh, Lily Goss went to hospital with an ankle injury yes. to be assessed. Still haven't heard Hopefully anything. Hopefully that's okay. 
on Monday morning. But oh, yeah. Driscoll was really good for the Dockers. Been really good all year. Oh, she's been she's solid. Of, I reckon she's all Australian again yeah, this year. I don't mind that. There was a couple of times where you go, all right, I like her run off half back, but then she was outnumbered. She had like two on one, three on one a couple of times. She'd either get the ball out yeah. or uh, handball it off, and she was really good. Gavin yeah. Newton continues her awesome season as well. If you're watching Freo and just like, geez, she's been She's great, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's another player the dogs are missing. Yeah. She was really good at the dogs. Have her in the back line, yeah. It'd be really helpful at the moment. But yeah, fan bases Freo are like, Oh boy! Well, they were going for top four, sort yeah. of like close to, and now where have they got? They've still thrown six. They've thrown but... away two games at home, mm. and that's you know they're seven and when, one. So yeah, happens. they lost to Port. Was it Port? Yeah, yeah they threw we were away. also fighting around that yeah. spot. So. Mm. And Carlton are just like, where has this been since the Geelong game? <laughs> they're they're exactly the same as Geelong. They'll either have an awesome game or drop off. Yeah, you yeah. need that consistency yeah. there, don't you? Yeah. They're like, like super duper roller coaster the, the season. The percent sums it up, 47% because every time they win, it's by a point, point or four points. Or, yeah. <laughs> like, they got smashed by Brisbane last week, yeah. But so. they're happy. They got a bit on the board. Darcy Vestio got a uh, shower show. afterwards. Uh, in yeah, the and, the, and the poor Channel 7 reporter got soaked oh, really? as well. <laughs> Darcy's like, no, I'm all for that. How bad? How good's pride? And didn't they say like, Go the gays at yeah. the end. Oh, yeah, they like, did. Right yeah, yeah, I was did. like, yes, Das. <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to Das. Uh, let's get to Sunday, North Hobart Oval, around yes. the corner from a great bakery, by the way. Pigeonhole <laughs> Bakers in Hobart. If you're there, Wait, get the almond croissant. A free shout out. What are we doing? Oh, the, uh, you're an almond croissant. Oh, it is the best okay. almond croissant I've had in my life. Alex's really? like, job that he doesn't get paid for is uh, food reviews, yeah. pretty much. Got it. But, yeah, that's his, <clears throat> so, that's his next gig. So right? as a Hobart connection, I went to lunch at a winery yesterday and I walked in and I'm sitting there. I'm like, got Mona vibes here. Like just, you know, Mona and Hobart. Yep. And so because I was there with my partner who works for a travel company and uh, met the restaurant manager who was like, oh, yeah, so the guy who owns and designed this place is the architect for Mona. I'm like, ah, oh, nailed it. How did yes. you know that? That's, that, is, that is impressive. Yeah. That's another podcast, though. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I, I was absolutely like, know how chuffed you were with yourself like, when you said that. <laughs> this guy. You can, you can imagine it at the table, can't you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And everyone else is like, what are you talking about? I was like, cultured. Yeah. Cultured. Yeah. Cultured. Yeah. Something, like Something like that. Were you there in a T-shirt? Yeah, no, I had a button up on. I, I made sure you? I dressed up. Yeah, look at you guys. Did, did the hair trim down? Trim down the beard and had a shave. Yeah, yeah I was like, trim down your little tabby cat. There. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, well, uh, what not, happened in the game? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Because <laughs> I want to talk about this game. You're trying to avoid the game because you go for Sydney. No, I'm not. I was, I was making the motor connection stats, uh, boy. Oh yeah. North Melbourne, fourteen three eighty seven defeated my beloved Sydney Swans four three twenty seven. If you watch the first quarter, you'd be like, this could be the best game ever. It could be goals galore. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was great. Mm. Go on. Then, what, ha- then what happened? Then what? And then... Oh, and then North flicked the switch. 14-3 is unbelievable in any type of footy. That yeah. is just insane kicking. North just couldn't miss. You had, uh, I think, uh, my favourite player for North, the, uh, other than, other, outside of Garner, Riddell, the superstars, yeah. Alice O'Loughlin is an absolute She freak. had a great game. When he hits the ground, she got three goals. Uh, when he hits the ground, I reckon she's one of the most versatile forwards. Agile, can take a mark. Always crumbs in the right spots, like yeah. uh, Yasir did for Richmond. Just yeah. always in the right spots. Really good. You got Garner. We have to talk about her, of course. Twenty-four disposals, three goals, goals from midfield. Just awesome. Yeah. They both kicked three goals straight. That's that's just insane. Mm-hmm. Uh, who Two else? of them were from the top of the square. Yeah. In fairness. Yeah, but that's all right. She's uh, finding finding uh, goals. She'd be in from trouble there. if she didn't kick him. Yeah, exactly. exactly. You know what yeah. I mean, there we go. We we be talking about it more probably. <laughs> uh, eight goals to one in the second half for North. They just flicked the switch. It was just. Awesome performance. The Swans, just as I've had my problems with yeah. all year, couldn't take advantage when they had the footy First in there. First quarter, mm-hmm. Hamilton, two goals. was really good. Like, just finished their, yeah. finished their chances. Yeah, Montana Ham taking a nice grab, kicking their first goal. But it's it's the same problem that the Swans have had all year. They'll have the footy in their forward half, in their forward 50 a lot. They just can't get that extra outlet handball to mm-hmm. get a shot on or to chip it to someone to take a mark. If the Swans walked away from this game having kicked eight or nine goals, but holy crap, that was awesome. Yeah. North's not going to allow Sw- that though. No, no, but it's the Swans played for what I expected. Yeah. Really well. Like, take a look at the stat sheet. Like, oh, yeah, there's Laura Gardner's stats just yeah. missing. Yeah. yeah. Missing you have, some kicks. You have a Laura yeah. Gardner there, the Swans probably kicked seven goals. I thought this was, apart from the score, one of their best performances of the year. It's North Melbourne. What do you expect? Yeah. Um, I thought Tanya Kennedy tried her best. There was a couple of times where Jasmine Garner was... It didn't really work, though. Wasn't yeah. a, well, it wasn't a, a hard, hard take. No, it was no. a run with. Yeah. Garner got her a couple of times with footy smarts going, oh, clearance, gone. Yeah. And Kennedy's like, oh, I'm 30 metres behind. And yeah. it was just all over. Uh, Sophia Hurley continues her great year. But North, good. Sheila, amazing. 
Feel like North, I North, it's 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 hard against North. They're the best side in the competition. Yeah. They hit targets. Yeah. They tackle hard. They move the ball. Hardly miss a They're goal. great yeah. defensive pressure. Mm-hmm. They're good in front of goal. There was it's, a great tra- there was a great transition that ended up where Jenna Bruton took a mark about twenty five meters out and just chipped it over to someone in the goal. It might have been yeah. O'Loughlin in the goal square who just d- didn't even walk at him. Just snapped it over a shot. I was like. I hate you right now. <laughs> like you could have walked it in, I would have been fine. But it was a snap from the top of the square with no one near. I was like, yeah, that's okay. yeah. North depth yeah. is nuts. Like you, I as a North fan watching this game, I was like, I don't want to take any player out of this side and swap it for another player. Like yeah. I learned some injuries and things like that. Yeah, the depth is just unbelievable. That's awesome. Because even you take uh, Carney out, obviously one of the best players still in the comp, yeah. and they're still awesome. Yeah. So, yeah, it does help. This ones don't have a forward. <laughs> no, I would also like to point out. Um, my disappointment in North Melbourne um, for their enthusiasm of singing their team yes, song we talked after about the yeah. game. Good, you do this. They're it's just like North like, one too much. You still should like, get up and about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, guys, come on. You just want, I'm sorry that you get to sing it point. every week. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. But also. Your fan base gets to sing this 10 times a year because your yeah. men win twice. Exactly. <laughs> so We should be singing it really loud. Get in there. Maybe we should put some give us, a, give us an effort yes. in yeah. there of that, your team. Team song. A, I know critic. it's a condensed fixture. <laughs> I know. Sing your song. But sing loud. your song, mate. Yes. Go on. Yeah. Absolutely. So Good I, call. I forgot to mention um, Sophia Hurley did have 15 tackles. Oh, oh, yeah, huge. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Uh, Ella Heads probably had one of her best games. And little uh, Holly Mini Cooper, they played her in the midfield. I was like, yes, need to see that. Montana Ham's foot, please be okay. Yeah. For she's, the love she's of God. So unlucky with injuries. Yeah, injury. I know. Because, like, you, she builds up, builds up, builds up. Oh, she's back to her best. Injured. Yeah. Then builds up, builds up, builds up. Yeah. She's still going to be a, a star. Yeah. Just yeah. needs to maybe, stop getting injured. Maybe one more game and then just put her on ice for the season. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Look look after the body. <laughs> yeah. uh, fan base is north like, yeah, cool, win. Swan's like, hey, we showed something. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Good not, size. Not terrible. <laughs> but God damn it, can we draft a forward? Yeah. Please? Well, it's not. One that doesn't yeah. get injured. Yeah. 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 Like drafted key tall like yeah. that can take a grab. Yeah. Yep. St Kilda, five straight 30, defeated by Melbourne, 6 8 44. Gerald, throw up the photo. Liv Purcell with the mask returned, 15 disposals yeah, just... and a goal with a great celebration. Who wore it better? Killian Mbappe, Batman, <laughs> Liv Purcell. <laughs> Liv Purcell. Liv Purcell, just, yeah, what, 15 disposals, one goal in yeah. a comeback game when her face was half off, like squashed. The the mask just looked cool. It, just waiting yeah, to awesome. reveal it and and she's two-faced from Batman. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and she doesn't normally kick goals either. No. So uh, she would have been absolutely stoked mm. with that. She had a point to prove. I, like, what she had, the injury that she sustained. Yeah, and to then, get back and play yeah, very and quickly. the surgery she had to, she's got metal plates in her face oh. and she's coming back and Playing. Going like, through what security the hell? at the airport would suck. Like, <laughs> yeah. does she have to go through the thing herself? Yeah. Or, or just like, whoa, whoa. We'll have to interview her. That can be a good question. Yeah. yeah. That is that is a fair effort. That is, like, really tough. Well done. Yeah, yourself. absolutely. Melbourne, are they back? Oh, no. N- no, gonna, are they? Oh, they're back. That's oh, what I'm asking. No. No, they're not back. They've won yeah. three in a row and beat the Crows. Okay, I will give... In, the like, crows were really bad. Though. The crows are really bad. Got to win. Take the dubs. Yeah, but what would the, what did they score? Fifteen points. All they do is win, win, win. <laughs> They've won three in a row. <laughs> Absolutely that is not. not the song. Um, I'm still Shania on it. That don't impress me much. <laughs> oh, um, man. I like that. Did you know how she sung that recently? And she changed it from Brad Pitt to um, was it like Ryan Reynolds? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, she was doing it like some it's Canadian awards Brad's, show. Because Brad's... Oh, yeah, we, we've cancelled. Yeah, oh, we've I, found out, I found out yesterday we'd cancelled Brad Pitt. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you after a while. I don't talk about him that much. It's not but... great. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, good stuff, Shania. Yeah. Anyway, football. Yeah, <laughs> I thought it was great. Um, Eden Zanka came back and kicked a couple of goals. Yeah. So well done to her. I know she'd been having a rough season. Then she got the injury, so I was really happy at her. Eliza McNamara, oh. 31 possessions, also with the bruised face. Still puffy and swollen and oh my god you are so tough yeah 31 yeah it was like, it was still they've swollen. literally oh. taken a beating melbourne yeah. so well done tyler hanks 22 disposals she is so reliable this year she's mm-hmm. an absolute superstar um i reckon she'll go close to their bnf this but year so yeah, good call. You, you look at it you have live back zanka back and paxi returning mm-hmm Three, like, three, not even like pretty, the, pretty, pretty yeah. good ends. Even if they're not getting 20, 25 touches, their leadership. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. 100%. Yeah. 
And the uh, the Kate Hall rule is just broken now. I'm just throwing it out there. Like, yeah. Because she's just like, yeah, you know that rule Alex mentioned? I'm just going to play in the midfield and be awesome. Yeah, which Ele- she was. 11 tackles, 21 touches, a couple of clearances, but just everywhere. Like Her yep. work rate has oh, been yeah. insane yeah. the past She's instrumental week. into every passage of play that goes up and down that field. Yeah, so, absolutely. Um, St Kilda, Jesse Wardlaw, three great. Goals, three yeah. goals, three goals straight. Um, well, St miss. Kilda didn't. Yeah, miss anything. Not a rush behind, not a anything. It kept them in the game because yeah. they weren't the better team. No. Because they kicked accurately, they're like, they, oh, we got a chance. They go to Jesse for I know, everything. I know. It's, yeah, and it's, it's like, too Jesse-centric. They, yeah, and she's she's great. She's having a really good season. She but has two people on her off. And yeah. yeah, but let's let's look around. Mm. She's like know? three goals. She's done her job. She's done her job. They went to gut, Gutridge, Gutridge once. Yeah. At, she got a goal. I yeah. think she's really good, really yeah. fun to watch. They need to go to her more because she can she, take a mark. And, her friend is like Kilda right be doing a little bit more with that that Jesse Ward or like people are going to go towards her. Should they not be trying to get like a Gutridge? Yeah. Uh, like they need a decoy sh- league. A decoy. Mm. Someone yeah. should be zoning off and be like, hi, we've got all this space I have. Yeah. Look at us getting tactical. 100%. Um, so yeah. Like it, yeah. No, they, def- they definitely should. Yeah. Fan bases. Saints, huh? Yeah, that's it. That's they're exactly so, it. Oh, they they'll be annoyed with that one because they're still eighth, but they're not gonna. Even if they make the finals at eighth, they're not gonna be very confident. Yeah, and the D's like our percentage is cooked just because they have Richmond, Hawthorne, and Collingwood to finish off. Do no. we think they can make finals? Nope. No, they're not beating Hawthorne or Richmond. Well, I think they're better than uh, West Coast and obviously Saints because they just beat the Saints. Yeah, but, but if they Port, lose, I'd rather Port in the if finals. If they lose yeah, two same. games, they're not gonna play. They'll have to beat Collingwood by 130 million points. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Great. Let's go to Henson Park, GWS 4428. Adelaide just went revenge. Yeah. 14 8, 92. Oh. Went from 15 points to 92 points. They went from 15 points to 14 goals. That Oh, yeah, true. Crazy. Can we just talk about Abby Marinoff for the next five minutes? Yes. Um, we, do, we do this every week. I thought I, last week she had the best stat line ever. Yeah, and she's about, like, hold my drink. I've got, I've got another one here. She's Hundy PW Award this year, sure. So, absolutely. Right. Eight games so far. How many votes out of 24 do you reckon Marinoff's we, on? We were saying before, mm. she's polling two or three in every game. She, could she realistically be on 24 from 24? Mm. The one oh, game I don't think she'll nah, get. No, there's a couple there where Ponta no, kicked like three or four. I'm saying she's on 19. There was one game she won't. I don't think she'll get the three. It was against Hawthorne because who kicked five goals against Hawthorne? Um, Ponta. Was it Ponta? I'm going to check. Yes. Yeah, Ponta. Yeah, it was. She's Ponta. Not, yeah, and there's a couple of games. you got Hatchard will get it, a, a few ones. Uh, no, nah, I don't reckon, nah. I don't reckon Hatchard has nah. put in one performance that is better than yeah. Ed Not Marinos. one. No. Nah. Ooh, okay. Nah. That's right. Nah. Yeah. She's consistent. She's, yeah. she's, she's but doing just another level. and Hatchard things. 41 disposals in a W game for all those playing at home would be like someone getting 60 mm-hmm. in oh, a men's game. Because when you think about Less time. stoppage clock, how long the game actually goes for. And missing two players. Yeah. She genuinely would have had 60 yeah. in a full game. So 12 that, clearances, That probably tackles. means 20 odd clearances and 30 tackles. Yeah. But se- like 17 tackles is the fact that she got 41 disposals and still had time to get 17 tackles <laughs> just, show, just shows how good she is both ways. Yeah. You just go watch, even if you just watch the KO mini on this game, it's mm-hmm. just uh, I've been in Marinoff highlights. But it, <laughs> yeah. But it's also you see the movement and the footy smarts that she has, which she's just on another level. This is one of the great individual seasons we will ever see. Mm-hmm. Like this is, I reckon if you ask her, like, when, when is your best footy? And she'd probably go right now. Yeah. 100%. There is yeah. no way because I'm I'm saying she's on 20 votes of 24, by the way. Yeah. I'm, I reckon she's on 19. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say 19, 20. I reckon she had a two in there. Yeah, what, what Maybe one two? where she didn't poll. <laughs> she doesn't not poll in, in one game. That's going to be Great for shame. AFLW Fantasy. Alex and I play that. that oh, she got the biggest she score the ever. double game week <laughs> and we captained her and she got, as a captain, she got 660 points because she got 330. That odd. doesn't mean a lot to some people, but if yeah. you're on AFLW Fantasy, oh, no, huge, huge. Yeah. Now, we don't find talk about betting here, but she's currently the favourite to win the uh, medal. Is she? Conti she, second? Uh, i got to find it. Oh. Conti would be up there. Mm. Um, Ali Anderson is Ali definitely going to be up there as well. Yep. Um, Jazzy, everyone wants Jazzy to win nah, that. Jazzy's not winning. Nah, I think Sorry, it's, Jazz. It's, too, it's a lot more shared. At yeah. yeah. So now I stats. remember we talked about it in our group chat probably after round three, and I was like, yeah. Marinov, $8. Yeah. I got that sitting in my eye. Uh, oh, I didn't <laughs> get on that. Yeah. Feeling Damn. good about myself right now. So watch her watch get suspended and really just nah, screw really. She, <laughs> she won't. She won't. But no, this was a really good performance from, from Adelaide. Like, it was tied in the first quarter, but then they kicked five goals in the second quarter to really break the game open, and then they just went on with it. This is... 
A GWS team who bought it for one quarter, similar to the Swans against North, mm-hmm. not going great, but can bring bring the heat for 20 minutes. Their midfield was still good. But can't sustain yeah. it. Beeson, Parker, O'Dowd, I, I think I've said that every week of the Giants. You can never fault their effort. They get yeah, 15 to 20 touches each and they're just yeah. dominating in the midfield, but then they get in the fall line and it comes straight back well, out. That's li- they're like, literally yeah. the only three players that are I stepping know. up. You just you hear like, oh, every Beeson, week. Beeson, yeah. Parker, Beeson and Parker, oh. and you're like, you guys and Zali, are amazing. And Zali pops yeah. up. Zali, yeah. And they're doing Every single thing that they can, but they they just need more. They're having yeah. a really they're having a, a tough, tough season. Caitlin yeah. Gould kicked three goals as well, and yeah. Madison Newman on the wing, really Could, good. He's just probably my underrated favorite Crows player because just runs like there's no tomorrow. Mm-hmm. That's and, what you need, and has a very good kick. So yeah, uh, fan base is GWS like Ugh, that vibes on the hill. Good <laughs> result, not so bad. Yeah, not so good. Adelaide like. They needed that to say. Yeah, Confidence they did. Boost You're up. absolutely this, this right. This is you waiting. The slump. The slump yeah. is hopefully gone. For yeah. Them. Yeah, that was, yeah, there was no fatigue there. This was, hey, screw you. We're going to kill yeah. you. Mm. Tipping results. 888 eight, eight, all across the board. We had a couple of different ones as well. So, yeah. like, just one or two different ones. Okay. So, the fact that we got eight is, that's pretty interesting. Mm. All right. Good results. Spence, how many did you get? Oh, Spence got get on the show. Spence did the good. I'm, 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 I'm oh. subbing out. <laughs> no, I was about to say, Spence might have to come on when I'm away next month. Oh. Can't wait for that show. You're the host. Yes, let's go. Full credit, best team of the round. Who is the best team that we've seen across a week seven, okay, eight games of football? Uh, I had, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. She's excited. I had Hawks. Yeah. Um, but also Richmond. Okay. Richmond. Yeah, yeah I like, I'm excited for them to be up and about again, but also Hawks were just like, yeah. Stats, man. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to change. I'm going to go Carlton. Carlton okay. just getting Ooh, over the line. Okay. No one, none of us, no one was picking them to win. Nah. The fact that they just got over the line, had an awesome last quarter. And their Carlton, kit was great. Great yeah. kit. The vibes were awesome. They were up and about singing the song. They were yeah. up and about the Gatorade show. Everything about Carlton on the weekend was awesome. Yeah. Shira yeah. kicking that uh, match winner. Go Side note, the, the kit clash in the Crows GWS game just was not it. Too too dark. It was too dark. Yeah. <laughs> Again, the only person that noticed that probably you, but too, no, uh, I, I actually that. saw a couple of people on social media like this kit clash isn't good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Same North Melbourne and Sydney. Too much white. Mm. Yeah. Four. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You could say that about a lot of things. Uh, that. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. No one clipped that up. <laughs> <laughs> Too much white in the kits. <laughs> nice and colourful, but yeah. Anyway, uh, mine's the D's, by the way. Is it? They knocked off Adelaide and they then backed it up with another win. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You beat and, it. Yeah. yeah, they're back. Two from two, so good for them. Best on ground. Well, this doesn't take a, you know, smart one to figure it out. It's Ebony Marinoff. Yeah. Like, who we else? All, we all wrote down Marinoff. I see. No, I didn't. Oh. I see your Ebony oh, Marinoff. That was me. And I'm going to go Purcell to come back on. I like that. Okay. Yeah, to well, come back you, on. Then you've got to give it Eliza McNamara. Well, yeah. Because okay, like, she, she played two games. Yeah, both of them. Yeah. <laughs> Anyone with a bruise who came in to play, you've got my best player in the round. Stats, man. Yeah, it's got to be Ebony Marinoff. Uh, I can't even talk. Ebony Marinoff. Yeah. Nice. 41 disposals, 12 clearances, 17 tackles. Unbelievable. And the bad review is to all the jerks in our comment section on TikTok. Yeah, you jerks. Thanks. But cheers for all the followers that we got on the weekend too. We thank- got- yeah, well done. Yeah, yeah. We've got heaps of followers. Thank you, to, yeah, thank you to all the new followers that have jumped on board across the across YouTube, TikTok, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and X as well. Thank you for doing that. That's very nice of you. Yep. I think my mum finally found the um, <laughs> how to watch it as well, so we probably got her. Thanks, Faye. Yes. I also Appreciate need to shout that. out Montana Ham's mum and Ali Morfitt's mum who follow us on Instagram as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, the mum. Yeah. We love Yay! that. We'll have to get them on. Montana Ham's mum. We is... should do a mum's special. Yes. Montana Ham's mum, so nice. Yeah. We, should, we could. Did say footies some, back to me dirt. as well. Yeah. yeah. Get some dirt. Hopefully we're going to have Montana Ham on the show this week. That's provided her foot's okay. If not, we'll get someone else from this one's on Great. this week. Doesn't but anyway. Need, doesn't need a foot to Yeah. Well, no, twice. no. Well, because that's so that's probably, not doing a foot. I, I really like Montana Ham. No, <laughs> in fairness to this one's, they want someone who's going to be playing this weekend. Fair enough. Yeah. That it isn't under. Promoted and Yeah, stuff. exactly. So Fair anyway, uh, that'll do us for AFLW today for, well, today. Thanks, Bryony. Back to normal rounds. Yes. Oh, thank God. Thank you, Stats Guy. Thank you. Uh, thank you to me. Thank you to Spence, Gerardo, and everyone else behind the cameras here. Of course, the intern. Are we allowed to say the intern's name? Yes, Geordie. <laughs> Shout out, Geordie. Yes. I didn't know if we could, we could say it or not. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we can say whatever we want, pretty it's much. It's legal. It's yeah. rules, it just rules against intern. I didn't, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know if you were like, oh, yeah. Thanks, just... intern. <laughs> <laughs> Remember to smash a like across the social. See us doing a bunch of silly stuff across the footy year, filling in all of those gaps. Facebook, Instagram, X, threads, apparently, and TikTok, not of course. Threads. It's YouTube. Threads Stats guy, stop being a hater. I hate threads. 
He's such a hater. So boring. Mm. We don't even have threads. We so. don't even have threads. All right. Now <laughs> no I'm going to delete that off Point the Point of order, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> delete it off the run sheet right now. Don't go Make on sure you subscribe and start to our YouTube channel. Please hit that notifications thing so anytime that a show drops, you'll get notified that the show is live. Now, if you are watching or listening to this, the AFL Today men's show will be doing a live stream yes. Wednesday the 16th from about 4.35 o'clock all the way through till the end of the trade period. So if you don't want to watch Damon going, you know what, stats guy? <laughs> the Sydney Swans are definitely still in for Jake Stringer. Yes. You don't want to hear that. We'll have want, a bit of fun with it. You just want to come home. Isn't he going to GWS? No, though? but so Damien Barrett for six weeks was running with the Swans wanted Stringer. Ah, uh, got you. And it, oh, I didn't even know that. And, I'm the, on your and side the Swans though. came out like, oh, why would we want him? <laughs> mm. Anyway. As an Essendon good. fan, I'm like, yeah, See you later. Exactly. Yeah. String band. So if you want to come hang out, get in the comments. I know Power Prawn Star, who's one of our favorites in the comments, will be in there as well. So yep. come hang. We'll talk some mock trades. See how Western Bulldogs have managed to stuff this up. It's going to be a great time. Anyway, that's it. We'll catch you later this week because we won't have to review any games. It's just a straight Normal preview. Round, yep. More AFLW today. Till then, look after yourselves and remember, footy's book. <laughs> <laughs>